there is uh, it's recognized international training in, in response to uh, hazardous materials incident and that's what we're teaching them today in fact our training captain is leading an all-day course on that so, so can you characterize I guess obviously there is a it looks like from this an elevated uh, level of danger maybe um, some things that some variables that you might not encounter in say a house fire mm -hmm. so hazardous materials response dangerous goods response you're correct there's there's a wide spectrum of what we could be responding to from something that's a little more serious like this uh, where you're involving road tankers or rail tankers uh, large-scale incidents right down to uh, natural ga gas leak in a private dwelling is a is a hazardous materials response to us so this one would be a little bit of a larger response um, command and control is one of the first things that we want to do at a scene like this is take command of that scene and start to control it right off the bat so that includes evacuations establishing safe perimeters that type of stuff you build you gotta know what you're going to before you go in there you got to know what you have around and what could cause a fire why it's on fire you want to be prepared before you go in so you don't get caught off guard our protocol is uh, scene safety keeping the, the taxpayers of Regina safe and uh, also our, our personnel, our fire people.